Hi everybody, Beanmeister22 here. Hey, today we are going to talk about the My Days SL122 Pro Trail Cam. You might call it a game cam, a trail cam. These days you call it a game cam, they think you're playing a video game. And I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. It's M-E-I-D-A-S-E, -E, Me Days, Me Days. I have several of these, you guys already know. I have like five or six of them. I bought one a long time ago. That was an earlier model, had a problem with it. All the new ones, they say upgraded and updated for 2020, I'm assuming it's just a software update, but it's haven't had a problem with any of the newer ones. They're around $50 on Amazon, currently selling for $47 something. If I have not said this yet, let me just say I love this trail cam for the price, under $50. It has great video, great night vision. It takes pictures, but who cares about that anymore? It's the age of video. And it has sound. It's just really good sound. So, first off, you're going to want to put batteries in it. We have to put batteries in it. The camera takes eight AA batteries. Put the SD card in, standard SD card. The limit on this one is 32 gigabytes. Bigger card probably won't work. It might, but it says it doesn't work. Don't risk it. Turn it on. This is not a touch screen. You use the buttons. I hate touch screens. You guys know that. Set up the camera. Choose photo or video. Choose quality. Video length, 20 seconds. I think you go up to 10 minutes, but that's a lot of wasted card space. Turn the sound on or off. Always turn it on. Format. Do you want MOV or MP4? MP4, of course. Detection delay. How long do you want it to wait before it starts working? Sensitivity. I always set it for the highest sensitivity. I would rather have a bunch of extra stuff on the card. That means nothing than to miss a good shot. Set the time and date. Name the camera. You only have four characters. So if you name it BM22, and you have multiple cameras, you're going to go BM22, you can't have one, two, three, or four. You only got four characters. Set a password. Um, we have passwords on them, but they're all the same. It really doesn't matter. Who am I going to keep out of these things? And don't forget to format the card. And remember, if it's a new card, no problem. If it's a used card, remember, you're going to lose all the data on that card. So make sure you save your data off the card first. Oh, also on security, in addition to the password, it has a thing so you can lock it from the outside so nobody can get It's plastic. If somebody finds my trail camera up in the woods and they want to steal it, just listen. Take a baggie or take some tape or take an envelope or take something and put the card and leave the card where the camera was. I just want the footage. If you take my $50 camera, that's fine. I just want the video footage. And if you're a real dick and you want to just steal my footage too, take the footage, dump it on your phone, and then leave my card for me because I want the footage. It's very easy to set up. Follow the instructions. I know I went quick right here. Don't worry about that. The instructions are self-explanatory. Yes, as a man, I don't use instructions. And the very first time we tried it, we didn't follow the instructions and we thought we were turning it on and it was turning on. We just had all kind of problems. Follow the instructions, okay? So you know what you're doing. Then you just whip right through it because it's simple. Now that you've seen how to set it up, now let's talk about the camera itself, the unit itself. Let's talk about the specs of this trail cam. In capture mode, you have photo, you have video, or if you have photo, then video, where it takes the photo and then turns the video on. 110 degrees diagonal says with distortion correction. And I don't know what this means, but it must be important. 36 PCS high performance. 940 nm is that nanometer ir led range up to 70 feet so that's the night vision and 70 feet it will click this thing on and i haven't showed that in other videos i've already mentioned but this thing turns on well before you can see things sometimes you guys don't want to sit there 30 seconds or a minute of nothing until you see a deer's head uh, up here right it's got three motion sensors 120 degree detection Central is 60 degrees, left side 30 degrees, right side 30 degrees. So it'll see it as it's coming into the camera's view. It says both side motions are designed to detect motions, then pre-activate the camera for faster triggering time. So that means it activates the camera. Hey, wake up, you've got to take a picture. And then once it gets into the center, then it'll take the picture. So it's not just triggering over here, taking a photo here of, wait a second, where the deer or whatever you're going to film isn't even in the camera yet but it'll turn the video on at that point. So the video's on as it walks in. The motion activated part of it, it's 0.2 seconds will be the trigger speed when the side motion sensor is enabled with a range up to 82 feet. And as you saw in this video, you know, where you can adjust the sensitivity to high, medium, or low. You know, I'm just gonna go with high sensitivity 
I will risk filling up that card and having a bunch of stuff that is nothing. I'd rather have that than have it not send something and trigger. For photo quality, you can be 16 megapixel, 12 megapixel, 8, 4, or 2 megapixel, you know, to save space on your card. Video quality is 1920 by 1080 or 1080 by 720. Now the detection delay, that's when you, you turn the thing on. Do you want it to instantly start filming or do you want it to count down 10 seconds or you can do between zero and an hour. That'll give you an hour to walk away. Or you can just be the kind of guy that turns on his trail cam and shows you walking away. You know, I've done that before. You can set it for regular time or a 24 hour clock. And as you see in the videos, it has date, time, moon phase, and temperature. I think that's really cool. The date and time, it's good for keeping track of what's going on. But the temperature, the external temperature, hey, it's near freezing, it's above freezing, it's this, it's this, wow. It has a 2.4 inch color screen and it says six operation buttons, a power switch, a mini USB port so you can slurp that data out of the camera. Standard SD card is what you use, it's not the micro SD cards. And remember we talked about this before also, that it used to be cameras, older cameras and stuff had the big SD cards and then it went to the micro SD cards and that was the, all the rage and now things are going back to the bigger SD cards. I don't know. I like the bigger ones better, obviously they're easier, easier to handle than those tiny things. But when I bought my Nikon camera and I was surprised to see it had that big standard SD card. It's a brand new Nikon camera, P1000 super zoom camera for looking at things way far away and it has a big card. So, well, that's kind of weird. As well as my Panasonic fancy little camera. That, yeah, so things are going back to the big card. It's weird. And not like the really, really big card because my buddy has some of the camera stuff that takes that. That's a whole specialized thing. It takes eight AA batteries, standard batteries, not included. Standard size SD card, not included. It says recommend using lithium batteries in cold weather. And it says recommend using a 32 gig high class 10 quality SDHC slash SDXC card. You know, the bigger the card, the longer it's going to go. We use 32 gigabyte cards and we use 16 gigabyte cards. I haven't tried a 64 or a bigger one. And I don't know how it would work with this, but then some pe some cameras, some pieces of equipment, even though you can physically stick a card in there, if it's too big, it won't work. We had that problem with the GoPro cameras. Remember the GoPro Hero 1 and 2 took the standard size card before it went to the micro cards for the later series. And we were out uh, ocean fishing and we thought we were filming, but we weren't filming because the SD card we put in the GoPro, it was a 128 or whatever it was, the card was too big for the camera and the camera recorded nothing. Yeah. It says the camera can operate in negative 4 degrees to 140 degrees Fahrenheit. That's negative 20 to 60 degrees Celsius. Um, negative four really isn't that cold, so I hope the camera can actually work for that cold. Normally it'll suck the battery down really quick, so that might be part of the issue. And when you put your SD card in here, you got to format the card. Remember, if it's a brand new card, you know, it's format, who cares? But if it's a card you have other stuff on, make sure you dump that data, you format that card, you're losing that data. Picture quality, we talked about that 16 megapixel with bursts up to three, so you can take three pictures, bam, bam, bam. It has a CMOS sensor, so it's got a ca standard camera sensor. Um, yeah, we don't care about the you know, optic lens, the apertures, F2.0, uh, FOV, 110 degrees, takes uh, 1080p at 30 frames a second. We already talked about the 0.2 second trigger feed. Night vision range is 70 feet, and I believe it were like at 82 or 84 feet for the daytime range on the, on the sensor. I don't know what this means, infrared LED, you know, the 940NM nanometer, I don't know, uh, no globe back. Uh, I'm thinking it's something to do with the night vision it doesn't come out green like it does in some stuff. It comes out, it's black, not green. And we can do the pictures in the, the JPEG, and the video is MP4 or the MOV, and we like the MP4, yes we do, and very important... You ready? This records sound. Well, you guys already know it if you watch my videos. It's amazing. You have this animal here just crunching away. And nom, 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 snorting. And it. That is very cool. Uh, we haven't got any coyotes howling. Oh, woo, woo. We don't have that yet, but we had him crunching away on something. And the deer was snorting, if you're listening. But it also picked up other things in several of our videos. And this will tell you how far out the camera is. 
you can hear vehicles in the background, and there's one you hear a train whistle in the background, in the distance, and one an airplane flying over. So yeah, but it is really cool that it does sound too. That I didn't even know it at the time that it that it did sound. And like from now on, if I ever buy another one of these of a different model or a different brand, because this is the Me Days M I D A S E S L one twenty two Pro, I would not buy one without sound. Uh, and uh, that's very important because it's yeah, this is kind of of the ones that they uh, that Me Days has My Days I don't know how to pronounce it of the cameras they have. This is kind of their low end one. It's about, it's forty seven to fifty dollars. It only has a 32 gigabyte card capacity, where some of the other ones have a, a max card size of 128, the bigger ones. If you go up several levels, you have one with a 100 foot range on the night vision, but the 70 foot is basically the, the same. Sensors are basically the same. There's, there's not a big difference in the cameras. I mean, there might be in price, but I really don't care. I don't do still photography with these. Um, I do video. So you guys, you guys know that I don't care about pictures. You know, trail cams that take photos. I mean, that's that's a whole. We don't. That era is gone. We want video. So the first one of these I bought, if you remember, I bought it in May of 2019, and didn't even try using it until a year or so later. And we stuck it out there, and everything was cloudy on the screen, and everything. And what the hell? I was really pissed. And we said, oh, there must be a crack or water moisture is getting in, and that's what it was. The gasket around the cover where the camera is, uh, the whole thing, it got moisture in there. And we tried, we sealed it up, but we're going to use that as a backup because this model, it says it's 2020 upgraded. It's probably just a software upgrade. They probably changed a couple things. And I now have five or six of these, and we are soaking them out in the woods. But it's getting kind of boring just seeing deer and coyotes and raccoons, and we're, we want to see some cougar and bobcat and lynx. And bear. So we're gonna do a little. We we're gonna set up a predator cam. We you know we go up in the woods and you it's hunting season. So where somebody guts a deer or an elk, they leave the what's left over of the carcass there. You take the meat and you leave the other stuff for the natural predators and stuff to eat on. And we'll set up a camera and we'll call that the predator cam or the meat cam, you know. And we'll see what we can get there predator wise. Opposed to just what we did here is there's an old apple orchard up in the woods where there's several apple trees there and the apples all fall right there so that's why the deer and elk and coyotes are here eating apples so this is the me days sl 122 pro trail camera 16 megapixel 1080p enhanced night vision 0 0.2 second motion activated with a 2.4 inch led screen Yes, that was the doorbell. All right, so what do you think? Have you ever wanted to do trail cam photography? Or have you done it in the past? If you haven't done it in the last handful of years, five years, six years, it's changed a lot. The quality of these are a lot better than they used to be. Not just the quality of the units themselves and what they can do, but the quality of the video. The sensors, the night vision, they're a lot better than they used to be. And remember, if you're putting a trail cam where someone else could find it, they might find it. And if they don't vandalize it, they're just going to steal it. So, you know, there is that. Some people in the woods, you know, they're okay. But you have to just automatically assume anybody who sees your camera is going to mess with it. And let's hope all they do is mess with it and the fact of just getting in front of the camera and moon it and, you know, make all kind of obscene gestures and, you know, you know, you know what they're going to do in front of your camera. So... If that's all they do, you know, that, oh my God. Hey, at least they didn't steal the camera or damage it, right? All right, so what do you think? Do you have one? Do you want one? Do you need to upgrade? These are a real neat toy, but also they can be a good tool to see what's going on on your property, out in the woods, in nature. And hopefully we will get a lot more cool videos in the future. And I got some things up my sleeve. So I'll leave your comments in the comment section, as always. Thanks for watching. Mr. 22, the most dangerous man on YouTube.